Hey guys, let's paint this zombie Betty Boop. First, we're gonna start off doing a gel ombre. I'm using orange heat wave as the base. Now taking my as if ombre brush, this brush is so good for ombre. You wanna cure that orange first. About one third up the nail, you wanna lay down your second color and then using light pulling motions, you wanna just lightly feather it across and down the nail. You also wanna use this brush dry while doing this technique. After you have feathered the gel down, we're gonna use some tapping motions to kind of blur it into the other color. You can go ahead and cure that and doing it one more time if you want to, we're gonna repeat that same thing. Right here, you see where the purple and orange meets. I just want it to be a little bit more flawless, so I'm tapping to blur it, and look, you just did a beautiful gel ombre. Now, using my 15 millimeter dream liner brush, we're gonna go in with some white liner gel and start getting the outline of her head. It's like a weird, messed up McDonald's arch. <laughs> Following the center point right down to here, go ahead and place a dot and extend from that dot out on both sides to make the bottom of her head. Now we have to draw out the body, which is a series of complicated random lines but if you just slow this down and follow it step by step i promise you guys have got this by the way you guys as always everything i'm using in this video is from my brand nailsbydev.com i will link every single thing that i used in this video in the description below and per usual if you want to save some money you can use code youtube to save 10 percent at checkout I love Betty Boop and I think this is such a cute design for spooky season and we still have all of October to go so you guys definitely try this out in your next nail design and tag me because I would love to see what you guys create. After we've drawn out the body outline we're going to just fill all this in with white. The reason being is because I really want this green glitter that I'm going to be using to pop. And also for sketching this out, it was so much easier to show you guys by doing the white first. You're gonna fill in all the areas of the body that are laid down white on the nail. By the way, this color is called Afterlife. It's from our Nails from the Crypt gel collection. These are the two liner gels I'll be using in this video. Definitely must haves. We're gonna start outlining the top of her hair, followed by a line on the top of her head, which will make sense in a little bit. This black liner gel is literally the most pigmented black I've ever used. It's very smooth, it's so pigmented, you don't have to go over your lines twice because the pigment works magically. And you guys are gonna love this liner gel. If you haven't tried it yet, definitely add two cards. I really liked this nail design because Betty Boop usually just has the little kind of swooshes like this, but like towards the inside of the face, they're like a little more spookier on this one. You see how it kind of like swirls twice? I don't know how to explain it, but I love how the hair looks on this character for the zombie Betty Boop. It's so cute and creepy. After we finish the hair, we're just going to separate the face from the body by doing a long line down here. Now we can start with the inner part of the facial features. We're gonna start with the eyebrows. After we've laid down the two eyebrows, which are like weirdly shaped, kind of like Nike check marks upside down, directly under those, we're gonna add two circles. Pay attention to how big you make the eyes because the eye size, all the proportions on Betty Boop matter something is off you're going to be able to tell especially if you've seen betty boop like a million times and you know exactly like what to look for when you're looking at the character and instead of her iconic like more curled lashes that are separated we're gonna do some like fluffy little lashes a bunch of them and i thought that was super cute on this character too by the way you guys the brush that i'm using this magical brush is called the nine millimeter dream liner brush it is currently our best selling brush that we have in our shop and I definitely highly recommend this brush if you're looking for a good liner. This is how she should be looking so far. Now we're going to add the little tiny nose, tiny nose, okay? And then we're going to do a little M directly underneath that touches the bottom of her face and then a U shape underneath that M to create her cute little lips. Now we need to give her a part in the hair. Go ahead and add a white line. We'll come back to that later and add green. 
We're also gonna fill in the eyes with white liner gel as well. The purple that I used earlier to ombre is what we're gonna use on her lips. I don't know if I told you what that was, but we did use the color called Faded. So Faded is what we're using on her lips. Now we're gonna use that same afterlight green color to her part up here on her hair. And for filling in bigger spaces, I like to just go in straight up with our black gel polish. Whenever you're doing large areas, you wanna use gel bottled polish instead of liner gel. The reason being is, Liner gel is a very thick and made for fine details and line work. So when you're trying to drag big areas, it first of all, it takes much longer to do that. And second of all, if you do liner gel too thick in too big of an area, you can get wrinkling and you don't want that. So definitely just go in with black gel polish to fill in the body. Now we're gonna bring her body to life by adding her arms, which are bones. So we're gonna use our white liner gel and draw a bone right here. Draw a ovally rectangly shape right here for the kneecap and do some lines that extend down from there to create the bone looking knee. And then we're also going to add an arm right here doing two lines to create that bony arm look. And then I realized after that she needed another leg. So down here we're going to add a bone and then later on we're going to fill in with the green right underneath as you'll see me do in a second. Now I decided that instead of hoops I wanted to add gold skull earrings. So using my favorite gold liner gel gold digger we're going to go ahead and just draw out some skull shapes. You can do hoops if you want but I wanted to go with the kind of creepy glam situation we got going on here. So I just drew out a circle with a little square underneath. And then later on, we'll fill in the skull's teeth with some black liner gel and add the eye sockets as well. Now we can pretty much start outlining everything. I'm just going with my black liner gel and yeah, we're gonna bring this baby to life. So my advice for you guys when you're doing line work is find a good way to balance, to balance your pressure. Because when you wanna do a really, really thin line, Remember, you need to be using very light pressure with your brush. We're going to outline all the leg area. As you can see here, this is going to be how I draw my lines series to create this kneecap of bones. I think this looks so cool, you guys. This I've done so many Betty Boops, but this is definitely one of my favorites. And not only because it's Halloween-y and I love spooky season, but it's just so cute. I love the colors of it and even how it ties in with the background colors and really pops with the purple, orange, and green. I think it's such a cute design. And I'm so excited to see who tries this out. Now that we've added all the details on the body, we can go ahead and fill in our skulls. You can make them however you want. I just did two circles and then some lines down for the teeth. Okay, I lied. We're not done with the body because for some reason, I just can't ever stop adding detail. It just is so much fun. I, I thought that she needed some stitches and I was right because after I added these like lines with little tiny lines going over top, it looks so cute. The more detail, the better, right? Now pay attention guys, this is going to take your nail art to the next level. I'm using my clear to blue glow pigment, mixing it in with no wipe shiny top coat, and then I'm using it to fill in the eye area and the bones. I can't wait to show you guys how cool this looks. Oh my gosh. Be sure when you're working with glow pigment though that you're using a liner brush that you don't care if it gets kind of messed up because glow pigment can kind of stick into your brush and be hard to get out. This is the final look of the Betty Boop nail. Look at how cute this is. And just when you didn't think it could get any better, look how cute the glow in the dark is. I'm obsessed. If you guys tried this nail art today, give yourself a pat on the back because you just painted zombie Betty Boop.
Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in another video soon. But before you guys go, let me know in the comments what tutorial or character you want to see me paint next. And until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!